A little bit on the church snake. Last summer, if you follow Facebook, anything on Facebook, uh, you remember maybe I posted lots of pictures about a snake that was living here outside our church uh, rent free. Uh, the snakes, I came out here one day last summer and because around the air conditioners here we had these really long weeds and I was going to pull these weeds out because well, that, there may be flowers, I don't know. Uh, flowers, just the weed where you want it. But we were going to pull the, I wanted to pull all these weeds out because they were just growing up tall around the the air conditioners and stuff and I noticed a big long snake skin that was laying here next to all of the air conditioners which kind of thought Ugh, I hate snakes I'm scared to death of snakes don't want nothing to do with snakes so I started looking around and all of a sudden the snake slithered back into all of these weeds and by the air conditioners and I'm not sure what kind of snake it was for sure probably a cobra maybe anaconda or a garter snake Want one of those, I'm not real sure which. But anyhow, so the snake stayed up here because he was comfortable in all this environment. He had all these weeds and everything else to hang out in. And me, I was too scared then to clear all the weeds out that I planned because there was a snake in the weeds. Well, this summer I've decided that the snake has got to go. The snake has got to get evicted because I want these weeds gone. They're nothing but trouble, they're nothing but a headache, and they're always in the way. And so I determined that I am going to remove all the weeds and get rid of the snake. So far, I haven't seen the snake yet this summer. Um, but as I was thinking about that, how many times in our life are things in our minds like that snake, where we give the perfect environment for the snake to live in? And then we don't want to deal, deal with the issue by getting rid of some of those things because of fear. Maybe it's a fear of actually dealing with the issue. Maybe it's a fear of, of change. Maybe it's a fear of becoming uncomfortable. Um, I tell you, I've been uncomfortable pulling these weeds back here because the snake might be in these weeds. And But the Bible calls us to have a renewing of our mind, a renewing of the way our, of our thinking. And it's not through just saying some positive confessions or whatever, but Philippians 4.8 tells us how we renew our minds. What are we to think on? There's certain things to think on that we need to do in order to change the environment of our minds. Whatever's true. God loves me, I am loved by the creator of the universe, that is true. Whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, what's ever lovely, what's ever commendable. If there's anything excellent, anything worthy of praise, think on these things. It's a change of environment. Instead of dwelling on all of the weeds and the things that hide in those weeds, when we do that, we give perfect environment for those snakes. So to change our environment sometimes, yeah, it might take a little courage. You might think, you know, John, you're a pretty big guy. Why are you scared of a little tiny snake? Well, hey, I am. But in order for me to be able to come out here, reach the, reach the hose bib, clean out the air conditioners, and stuff like that, I have to be willing to change this environment so that what I fear can no longer stay. So, as of today, May 18th or whatever today is, our church snake is being evicted because he no longer is gonna have an environment in which to stay. Well, Lord bless you real good. What's the environment of your mind? What things in your environment need to change so that those snakes of doubt, those snakes of fear, those snakes of negativity that are constantly plaguing you can be evicted from your life. Whatever things are true, whatever things are pure, whatever things are just, whatever things are honorable, whatever things are worthy of praise, think on these things. And those things all point to the person of Jesus Christ. Lord bless you, have a great day.